uh, the boat fully loaded, ready to go. Jane, you ready? You cool? I think we've got just about everything. Put everything in there. So where are we heading, dude? Uh, where? Up there. Up there. Yeah. That's all you got? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Where exactly are you? Yeah? What lake? Very lake. Oh, see? Now, look, you gave away the, the, you, you gave away the secret location. Yeah. You're not allowed here anymore. You're being drugged on the next trip. <laughs> anyway, up around that corner through the Narrows, is that's our uh, latest destination, so... We'll check back with you when we get all set up. So I guess it wouldn't be a good fishing trip without a mishap. Wanna dump that on? <laughs> Wait now, here. I got one for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now I gotta try to get the other one off. <laughs> you might have to help. <laughs> get this. <laughs> All right. So what had happened is that we're <laughs> we leave from one lake and we go into the other. We leave from Fairy Lake and go into Grassy Lake. Grassy Lake. Now uh, being a very shallow, weedy lake, that we basically get the boat stuck, and we couldn't get to our location. So here's what we end up doing: we end up getting out of the boat, trying to pull it through this musty stuff and crap and junk. And anyway, and I'm just glad I brought a change of clothes. So. <coughs> See after the virus on and we'll get dried up. Well, now what? What do you mean? Fire. 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 Actually, well, we'll do a little demo here. We're all set up with a, a good tarp. Our tent from the one and only Andrew Malloy. Thank you, Andrew. The tent is awesome. Fantastic. Okay, so minor mishap. Yeah, we, uh, the lake is very, very shallow and very, uh, well, problematic. As you can tell by the laundry hanging in the tree. All of it being a tad shade dirtier from the knees down. Gives you an idea of just what uh, <laughs> what we've been through already. But uh, yeah, good breeze coming down the lake, but we've got a uh, good, uh, really good nice wind break. Haven't really done a fire yet, but we're going to be uh, there pretty soon. Chains, uh, chains and dry and ready to rock and roll. Ready to go fishing, right? Yep. What are you fishing for? Trout. 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 Big old trout. There you go. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> Talk to you later. One good thing about the yoke boards, when they're new and everything else, it works, everything's fine. On the way up here, we got into a little bit of shallow water. And that little thing there will disable you so fast. This is called a shear pin. We don't have an, an extra. First of all, the shear pin was stuck down inside that hole. It took us about an hour to try to get it out of the hole, that broken piece. That's all this is. So now we don't have an extra. And we are come up with a couple of different things. This was a piece of my fly vest that you could hang things off of and that sort of stuff, but it's not quite big enough. So what we did, we found one of the old tent pegs 
and we actually cut off a section. We cut off an old section from the tent peg. Commander's over there. You go. Okay. Yeah, don't lose this. Yeah, cut off a section of the tent peg. Unbelievable, man. Huh. We cut through that using a multi-tool. Kind of just working your way through it and breaking it through. Finally, we ended up breaking it off. Simple little piece. We'll disable your trip so fast. Put your prop back on. Put your prop back on. <laughs> Put out the leaf in the way. And cotter pin through there. Just check that. And we're back in business. Hard to believe. So there you go. Bushcraft. One on one. Trying to fix stuff. Progress reports. Shane's got doing the beans thing. Hey. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> We've got a decent fire going finally. And uh, some sausages in the pan. Which is cool. We've eventually had to bring the boat up up and uh, up into the woods and along with the windbreak is it's been a real funny, funny afternoon with with weather. Been lots of uh, rain and hail and wind and all that other kind of thing so we're into a bit of a calm period now which is good a little bit of blue sky starting to finally come through and hopefully those winds will lay down but here we are it's a little smoky but somewhat comfortable are you having fun bud yeah you sure i know a little tougher trip this time only because of the uh, the weather conditions it's been really really funny and I'm trying to find some dry wood has been a bit of a real uh, task this time but we're, we've managed to come up with some and we got some under control so we've got a little bit of heat now and uh, and some supper on the go so. and a pretty decent supper at that so we'll check back with you in a bit you cool okay. whole moment fishing in Nova Scotia, and yes, that's hail. You all right, Shane? You all right? Oh yeah. Ow. So we're finally getting the opportunity to relax here a little bit after a real wild, wild day of weather. Got a Pretty dandy fire going here right now. Pretty decent wind break, and then Shane is the human uh, baked potato. Huh? <laughs> How you feeling, buddy? You good? Yeah. Yeah. You can see that we're we're nestled in behind the boat for a bit of a wind break. It's doing the job. He's trying out a survival blanket. Is it working? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keeping you warm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fairly thin, but I guess it does a great job of reflecting heat. But okay, we get the big, uh, we get a nice big wind break there. Really nice fire going. You know, you know everything else is uh, looking really decent. I mean, nice bright blue sky out for sure, but uh, very, very windy and uh, going to be getting very, very chilly. So we'll keep it just stoking the fire going. <coughs> Stop your coughing. We'll get, uh, keep the uh, fire going really well. Try to keep some of the heat in and get ourselves warmed up here. We've got about two hours before we can uh, turn into bed tonight. So maybe uh, we'll uh, give you a quick shout out before we uh, turn in. Yes, that's a dandy looking fire. It's finally after all day of all the 
bad weather that the wind has finally calmed down. I don't know if you can catch that moon, but oh yeah, look at that. It's just starting to come out now. We're finally getting into some nice twilight. And uh, things are finally warming up around camp. What do you think, Shane? Nice? Mm -hmm. That's it? Mm -hmm. That's all you got? It's good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Really nice fire now. And, uh, yeah. Just a great, great evening now to call it quits. Beautiful moon out there right now. Let me see if we can get you a moon here. There you go. It's the second time we've ever used the boat as a windbreak, but it works. It works a dandy job. So I think we'll say goodnight. We're uh, about uh, maybe uh, half an hour, 45 minutes before bedtime. Shane's going to be trying to little late night snack of a baked potato on an open fire. Get some nice hardwood going there, some really, really nice heat. And then, uh, yeah, we'll crawl in the in the tent over there and uh, call it a night. What do you think, Shane? Call it a night pretty soon? Mm -hmm. Getting tired out? Yeah. Good long day? Yeah. How many fish did you catch today? Four. Four? Yeah. Hmm. How many daddy catch fish today? Six. What? Six. How many? Six. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. All right. That's all good. Okay, folks. Good night. And uh, we'll uh, see you in the morning. You can see we made it through the night. Not as many hours of sleep that we normally like. <laughs> but we made it. Another fire going. We got some uh, some coffee. Shane's munching on some watermelon. Some breakfast bannock. Nice, bright, beautiful, sunny day. I don't think it's all that bad, is it? No. no. Mm -hmm. How much salt did you put in this? Salt? Yeah. Half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon? Yeah. Kind of salty. You sure it was half a tablespoon? Yeah. Or did you put like two tablespoons? <laughs> no. You sure? Yeah. This is pretty salty stuff. I followed the instructions. You followed the instructions. Famous last words. Hey, ladies. That's very, very good. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be packing up. A little while. We try to navigate our uh, our way down the lake because I think it's going to be bad. Very very shallow area over there, so we're dry now. But Lord knows. Good morning.